You trust me? Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> Klaus's journey this season is discovering he can do more than summon ghosts. After being shot with a spear by Stan, Klaus goes on a journey to the other side. He eventually resurrected, but also learned he can't stay dead after reliving moments of his life he thought were near-death experiences, but it turns out that he actually died. In addition to resurrecting himself, Klaus can also heal all injuries from his incidents. Wanting to understand his powers, he licks to Reginald, who did a lot of experimenting. Step 2 of his experiments, getting Klaus to resurrect in less than an hour. After getting hit by a bus and dying a few more times, a lot of times, Klaus can now revive himself instantly or in less than 5 minutes. Now he's getting the hang of it, and typical Klaus, he's having fun dying over and over again. Reginald takes him to a cemetery, and after wandering around for a bit, he starts getting chased by ghosts. Reginald gave him some really good advice that helped him overcome his fear of ghosts. Tapping into his powers, Klaus destroys the ghosts. It's quite impressive and also something he's never done before. The world's about to collapse in on itself and Reginald betrays Klaus, leaving him for dead. He awakens on the other side with Luther, and after a lot of convincing, Luther gets him to return to the living. Not long after returning, Reginald kills Klaus again, but as we know, he resurrects and it's good as new. Klaus brings Luther back long enough to defeat the Guardian and says goodbyes. This shows Klaus hasn't quite mastered helping ghosts return to the living, but it's possible we'll get to see more of his powers in action next season. This season answered a lot of questions about Klaus's powers and shows he can do more than communicate with the dead. He's immortal. He's no longer scared of ghosts and we look forward to seeing what more he can do. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below.